It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC West. It's the Raiders and the Bulls, and it comes your way next. GA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the LA Chargers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, we've got an AFC West battle ahead. And this is a division where, I mean, let's face it, the Chiefs are going to be the favorites and well-deserved after the Super Bowl win last February. But we've got three other teams in the mix with potential high ceilings. Would you agree? Absolutely would agree because we've been waiting for the Los Angeles Chargers to make that breakthrough. And with quarterback Justin Herbert, you expect it any time now. The Las Vegas Raiders, once again, under new management, second year for Josh McDaniels. And he has a new quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo. And Denver, Sean Payton has come to town. He's the new sheriff, hoping to resurrect Russell Wilson's career. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And we are underway here in Los Angeles. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. So the Charger offense making its way out. And at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert, who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. That's caught by the rookie, Quentin Johnston. Still on his feet. Inside the 10. Touchdown, LA. Quentin Johnston, 79 yards. And the Chargers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. That is a quick strike. One play all the way to the house. You know, the pass was fine, but that run after the catch, impressive. An absolute horrible time. Of course, any time like this is a horrible time for a defensive breakdown. But where's the tackling? Where were the safeties? You don't expect him to catch the ball. And next thing you know, he's running into the goalpost this early in the game. That's not supposed to happen. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023, the former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense, get things going, and see how things settle in. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, 
You can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Now a quick throw out wide to Myers. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They need 12 here. It's third down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Davis now to return it. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, that's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back to back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Herbert now. And this is incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now, here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Back to the air, Herbert on second down. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Gonna throw on third down with Herbert. Complete. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. Partner, I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. After the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. 
Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Boy, you go three and out on your first drive, and that's not the way you want to start this drive either. Doesn't seem like they're really into it just yet. No, first four plays, you don't want to call it a disaster, but not looking very sharp. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Garoppolo. And this is going to be incomplete. Not much happening offensively here early on. That's two drives and zero first downs. This defense, they've come to play, and they're the better of the two units here so far. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Returnable here for Davis. It's a 47-yard punt but they did give up 10 on the return. And they will take over first and 10. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. the running back. Here's Austin Eckler. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Herbert off of play action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Robert Spillane, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. Into space at the 45. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Got to give their offensive coordinator credit there. He got right into the head of the defensive coordinator because right on the heels of the sack on second down, he figured they were going to come at him hard again. And so he went ahead and hit a, a brilliant call Screen pass works well enough. They're able to pick up a first down. That's one way to keep that defense at bay. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That's good for 28 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to add on to that lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Dicker down attack on the extra point.
He's got it, and it's 17-0. Five plays there on that drive, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. So an early advantage now to Goodwin. 17-0 our scores. They kick this one away. DeAndre Carter returning it. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So out come the Raiders. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And right side, they're going to go option here. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. On play action, now Garoppolo. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Now it's Herbert. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. More from L.A. in a moment. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Well, partner, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's got to get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Open man, it's Palmer. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 
The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. On first down, it's Herbert. And he's got it. Touchdown. Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers are able to widen their advantage. Boy, still in the first quarter. And look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and the route is on here in this first half. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. So five yards here, five on the play, and that will bring up second down. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Here is third and five. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, it's looking like another three and out here, and at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at the 31 yard line they'll try and start this drive in the air and his throw is incomplete a lot of times it's that first read that you have maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They're going to go toss right side with Eckler. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Third and long, it's Herbert. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he'll only get.
get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. That's to the rookie from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 34. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. On first down, Garoppolo over the middle, and it's incomplete. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Garoppolo now. sideline he caught it but out of bounds according to the headlines but incomplete so the ball a little late getting there and it's third down and close there he caught it just wasn't able to stay in bounds and that's where the sideline it was used as a 12th defender you know 11's legal this one is an imaginary one one that my college coach used to call sammy sideline <laughs> sammy sideline can protect you at times and in this case that's exactly what he did for the defenders a first down and then some give him 29 yards Running straight ahead is Jacobs. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two. Second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the nine. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The Raiders on third down. Just one for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Holding offense. So that time they got the left guard with a hole. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And the Raiders are gonna have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down.
Here's Jacobs. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. It's larger been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Jacobs again. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And yeah, they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. Jacobs, and he is going to lose yardage here. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. With the way things have gone in this game, I think they've got to consider going for it here. I realize it's just the second quarter, so they're not panicking, but they need something to give them positive momentum to get things going. So off is Garoppolo, and in comes Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it, the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll hand off here to Eckler. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. It's Eckler again. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Eckler, they run left side. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Eight yards there and a first down. Eckler's long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season, with 13 touchdowns on the ground. 
On first down, Justin Herbert. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. Out of the gun, Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a mistake there, Charles, from the rookie pass rusher. And oftentimes when you make the jump from college to the NFL, you have to adjust to the rules. But in this case, the rule's no different than in college. Once the ball's gone, you can't continue on and get your shot in. That's one where you have to have some discipline. And even though he's a rookie... He and this is going to be intercepted. Ja'Korian Bennett has it. And the Raiders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Well, whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, is going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at the 20. Now back to throw. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Jacob's going to try the middle. A beautiful fake. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. And Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And some space here. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with a draw play. They certainly did. Caught him a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and seven. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but the sack knocks him backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So the sack of Garoppolo. And now what can they come up with on third and long? He'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. 
A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone and they're the ones possessing it. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 20-yard line. Once more, here's Eckler. Gets by him at the 25. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. On first and 10, Herbert. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Good defensive call right there because they had so much shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from adding another catch to his big start. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Herbert. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Josh Palmer, the intended target. And now it's third down. Back to throw here, Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Option play, and they'll give to Eckler. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. From the 25, here's second down and eight. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second down and eight. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Gerald Everett with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers are able to add on to their first half lead. The CD, you know, anytime they get close to the red zone, he is such a threat. And there he is again already, his second touchdown of the ball game. And I know it's probably a little bit of a failing on my part, but you know I watch a game through defensive eyes, and I don't understand what the coverage was doing there. When he headed out deep, they should have adjusted and flowed towards him. Instead, they left him out there and gave him a chance to make a big play. And of course, he did exactly that. His size, speed, and versatility makes him a top target in any game. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And 
And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes... The quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And he'll find Everett there, complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Second down and a yard. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and the route is on here in this first half. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. 
from the snap. He certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Garoppolo looks to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. The run on third and long, so I guess waving the white flag a little bit. Yeah, and I think sometimes teams are so committed to running the football that they'll take a chance, even in a long yardage situation, to let them know on the other side, this is what we're going to be about today. In this case, they didn't get a first down, but if you're thinking along with them, hey, they might be committed to running it all game long. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports halftime report. We're accustomed to seeing strong quarterback play. We got that in the first half from Justin Herbert. He put together the kind of half you dream about, five touchdown passes as his guys are well in control of this ball game. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line the Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter and they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them it was really Charles a disaster of a first half so where do they go from here well first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done and there's no going back and now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely, but you still have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Adams. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Counter play with Jacobs. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A nice carry by Jacobs, who's coming off a career year. Just when it seemed like Vegas may have been ready to move on from him. Led the NFL with over 1,600 yards and was more than deserving of his first All-Pro selection. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Open man, that's Renfro. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Looking for more there on 
first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Second and 10. Here's Garoppolo to throw. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 21 yards there on third down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. It's second and inches. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs taking it in from seven yards away. And the Raiders are able to claw one back. Did my eyes deceive me? Or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? A little old school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that. Let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt. He's an extra blocker, and he did his job well on that play. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half, I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. On first down, it's Herbert. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. Now a second and 10. Here's Herbert. And that's incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Here's Herbert. And that will be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Here's J.K. Scott now, standing right on his own five-yard line. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. On the return, Carter. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. And now here come the Raiders. 
Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. From the 41, here's second down and seven. Garoppolo. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. One yard gain brings up second and nine. Once again, it's Jacobs. Touchdown, Raiders! Josh Jacobs with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Raiders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So he visits pay dirt for a second time. Unfortunately, they're still down on the big board. And I wonder what's going through his mind right now. Playing hard, making big plays. That wasn't a, a small run by any stretch of the imagination either. To find the end zone for the second time, Yet his team still down. They need more of that from him and a little help from the defensive guys. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. From the 22 now, here's the second and nine. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. A little short pass, this is Everett. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here.
Herbert now. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. On second down, Eckler. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now it's Herbert. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, after watching him ring the bell that many times and put the ball in the end zone, throwing it, you had to figure they had to bring some type of pressure. They had to change things up on defense. And able to get to him, put him on the ground, so maybe just something to throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief. So a change of possession here on the punt. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some <laughs> massive men. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. The open man here, Renfro. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. First down, Raiders. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Here's second and 10. Now a give to Jenkins running right. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 92 yards on the ground here for Jacobs, so this is a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And now Garoppolo lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down now, here's second down. On play action, now Garoppolo. He finds Mayer here, and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 31-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense, and reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10, down at the 31. Play action, Garoppolo. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. 
Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And now off to the races down the right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Josh Jacobs, a dynamo since the break. Three third quarter touchdowns. And the Raiders are able to cut into that deficit. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this taken in at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And we all know how talented this guy is, who's calling the signals for him, but even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Herbert. Now a deep one for Johnston. And got his man complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down at the 40-yard line. A big play there for L.A. 44 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been ripped up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Josh McDaniels, he had his mind made up on that one. He disagrees, and he'll throw the challenge flag. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stays. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Play action. It's Herbert. one and that's going to be intercepted picked off by Trayvon Merrig down the right sideline and he takes this one back into the end zone and the Raider defense delivers a score 
So that potentially a turning point here this third quarter. A two-score lead down to one now following the pick six. And that had to be the message at halftime for this defense delivered and accepted. We need to go out there and make something happen. Carlson on for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Returnable here for Davis. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Chargers ready to take over. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 23. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now second and three. Justin Herbert looking to pass. A little short pass. This is Everett. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 79 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. One of the good things offenses did years ago was they lettered their gaps the same on each side. A gap between guard and center on either side. That's what you want to control when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. And why is that? Because typically you either have a big nose guard in there in an odd front, three-man front, or you have defensive tackles that might line up in the A-gaps trying to gain an advantage and get upfield themselves. If you can control that, it gives the back plenty of space to pick and choose where to go. And there, a great inside run, broke the contact and got some space. Two jump plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And that's a lesson learned from the previous drive. Last time he forced one, and it turned into a pick six. Here, he knows better, and he just throws that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. 
But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. They snap it to Herbert. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers, and that will force a turnover on downs. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. They'll come up second and seven. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. He continues to be dominant running the football. I mean, keep feeding him, right? Yeah, you should, because what he's put up already is really like a two-game total. Give him a lot of credit, but give the rest of the offense credit as well. The big guys up front and the receivers on the perimeter, everyone's getting involved blocking people downfield. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held, it goes incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Garoppolo. He'll get that one to Carter complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. Davis now to return it. Yards officially, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 46. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. It's Eckler again. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 
40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest, and they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good game. With that last completion, CD is now over 400 yards passing in the game, and quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary, and it's been successful. I like your observation there, partner, because I agree. This is a group more than capable of torching a secondary any week as evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, wouldn't shock me at all to see them take another deep shot. And Eckler is going to pick up a Chargers first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to him, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Donald Parham, 27 yards. And the Chargers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here this fourth quarter. Well, after another passing touchdown, I don't think it would be an understatement to say that he's in the zone, and I believe he likes it. Extra point try now from Dicker. And the lead is up to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Here's Carter now on the return. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. Now these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. It's second and inches at the 32-yard line. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Third and nine here. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. This to the sideline and incomplete. Nearly intercepted, in fact, but he couldn't hang on. Fourth down. All oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. I tell you what, this is not for the faint of heart right here. Fourth down, this is taking a big risk. 
but it's as good a play call as you can imagine. And the defense just not able to come up with the stop they needed. And this is not just a first down, but a big play as well. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Garoppolo now. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. Oh, fighting off the defender. 158 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. Here's Jacobs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Austin Eckler in the Charger offense reclaims center stage. He stopped the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start. But now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball. Getting it away from them because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Fighting him off. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. And that pickup on the first down, 
that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Well, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Fights through and now a crease. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Up the middle with Eckler. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Once more, here's Eckler. And he will have a charger first down, and that should be the one that gets him to the finish line. I definitely want the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. Victory formation, time for the Chargers. They take a knee. <laughs> Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write an end to this one. It's a complete blowout, but instead they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And hey Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. In this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.